In this video I'll show you many of the tapes used in the Experimental Airlines construction technique. They are colored packing tape, exterior vinyl tape, duct tape, two-sided heavy-duty mounting tape, masking tape, vinyl electrical tape, two-sided scotch tape, polypropylene label covering tape, and holographic metallic decorative tape. All of these tapes are useful in their own very distinct way. You don't need all of these. In fact, you could probably get by with three of these types of tape to do 90% of the jobs for experimental airlines construction techniques, but it's kind of nice to have some variety for certain other purposes too. The most crucial tape to the EA build techniques is colored packing tape. Now this is similar to the familiar packing tape, otherwise known as carton sealing tape or box sealing tape, mailing tape. I like to get mine from tapebrothers.com and they have at least eight different colors of this tape. I recommend picking a few of your favorites. I like these three predominantly, um, but they also sell rainbow packs and 55 yard or 110 yard rolls, which these are. At this time, they're 363 each for these rolls. The thickness of this colored packing tape is two mil, so 1.1 mil of film, which itself is clear, and 0.9 mil of colored adhesive, depending on what color you get. So that amounts to a 50 micron thickness. It's very thin, much thinner than duct tape and any other kind of tapes. And in fact, it's thinner than the ordinary packing tape that you get at the uh, Dollar Tree or at the hardware store in general. So that makes it lighter. Each of these 110 yard rolls, two inches wide, will cover 13 pieces of foam board, 20 inches wide, 30 inches long, if perfectly applied side by side and in and with no wastage. In reality, accounting for the overlap between the pieces of tape and any wastage and errors and patches. It en ends up being about 10 pieces of foam board that you can cover with this, which makes it incredibly economic. You can make several planes out of a single roll of tape. Now this is applied to the foam board in its native state prior to constructing your airframe parts in a different video that I have on my channel to apply it in simple stripes over the piece of foam board so it makes a nice, strong, impervious uh, good tension strength uh, coating over the foam board. And then the opposite side is often left uncovered with or without the uh, paper facing removed from the ready board foam board. This brand of colored packing tape adds 20 grams of weight per foam board sheet, 20 by 30 inches. It can also be used to cover Depron, although it isn't quite as secure. It can always theoretically be pulled off of Depron, although there's certain things you can do like overlapping a greater extent between the pieces of tape and also cleaning this off with a, a mild solvent to improve adherence of the tape to the Depron. This is 3M Scotch brand heavy duty exterior mounting tape. After packing tape this is probably the most important tape to the EA building technique. It comes in small and large rolls that vary from about 8 to about $25 and can be found at most uh, big box hardware stores. It is one inch wide. It is gray in color and comes with the red backing. This is meant to be cut to length, applied to a surface, and then the, the backing peeled off. This heavy duty foam mounting tape takes the place of hot glue and many other adhesives in so many situations. I mount all of my motors, servos, and electronics with this tape. This stuff adheres incredibly well to really smooth surfaces such as metal and gift cards, which of course are an integral part of the EA building technique. The overall consistency of both the foam substance of the tape and the adhesive is that of a non-Newtonian fluid, a dilatant fluid. It's kind of like silly putty. The substance of the tape performs that way like this. You see when you apply a long, slow stretching force, it stretches out, but when a, an abrupt force is applied, it breaks like that. Similarly, the adhesive, which is a piece of tape placed between these two pieces of aluminum, um, is incredibly strong, especially to a shear force like this. Also from a an opposing force back and forth like this, when subjected to even very strong but constant forces, it tends not to give way. But when there's a sharp percussive force like that in a crash, it gives way and often leaves the adhesive intact. And if it doesn't attract any uh, debris or dirt or anything upon the crash, you can oftentimes just stick the other piece right back on there and it's strong again. Another neat quality of this tape is that you can temporarily disable the adhesive by chilling it with a dust off type product like this by squirting the product with the can upside down so that it comes out as a liquid 
onto the tape wherever possible and onto the surface that it's adhered to, particularly if it's metal, which conducts heat very well. And you just squirt the liquid on there like that, on the tape, wherever possible. And then just snap it apart. And this will leave the tape intact. And as long as it's clean, you can allow it to warm back up and easily just stick the uh, piece right back together. And at normal temperatures, it will regain its normal strength. Next up is good old duct tape. I like duck brand duct tape. And uh, this is freely available at Walmart, hardware stores, uh, tapebrothers.com, any variety of places. It has wonderful colors. It tends to be a little bit more matte finish when compared with colored packing tape. The versatility of the duct tape is that it will conform to uh, abnormal surface contours. That is, it doesn't require it to be applied perfectly flat over the foam board like the packing tape does. So it's good for finishing slightly irregular edges high wear areas, bottoms of airplanes. It does have a cotton weave inside the tape itself. It's nine mils thick, so it's very heavy. It has the advantage of being somewhat removable from itself and to a lesser extent removable from packing tape covered foam board. Be cautious though, especially if duct tape is applied near the edge of this colored packing tape, it will sometimes delaminate the paper from it. One other drawback of duct tape is that it tends to wrinkle up in the sun, particularly the darker colors like blue. Another small disadvantage of duct tape is that the adhesive exposes itself along the edge. You can see that very fine white line along the edge, and that seems to attract debris in such a way that it gradually delaminates itself from the surface that it's stuck to. So in areas of uh, moderate to severe wear duct tape, it tends to peel itself up. The duct tape is to some extent removable and replaceable, so if you have an area that you need to adjust or disassemble, but only infrequently, duct tape is not a bad way to accomplish that. Now having that cotton weave inside the tape also makes a good destructive uh, sort of sacrificial safety mechanism for joining things like wings and as we're most of us are familiar the way that duct tape tears is it rips through that cotton weave and in doing so if you have a wing joint upon impact oftentimes the wing will be spared but the tape will tear and the energy will be dissipated in the operation of tearing the tape itself so it makes a great wing joining uh, tape here's a wing I've recently crashed the only joining method other than the spar was a double strip of colored duct tape which crossed the uh, midline at the root and it simply tore apart and didn't injure the wing otherwise. Duct tape, is, at least the duck brand kind, is readily available and it tends to be about three or four dollars a roll and also comes in all variety of these crazy designs and colors too if you want to embellish your airplanes. Here's a somewhat new arrival to the Experimental Airlines fleet and it's exterior vinyl tape. These are 10 yard rolls that are under $4 each from tapebrothers.com and as you can see they come in a variety of very brilliant colors as well. The difference in these tapes is that they do have a backing to them. The consistency of the film itself is a little bit similar to the familiar electrical tape that we use. However, it's less stretchy and the adhesive is much more secure and less gummy than ordinary electrical tape. Be wary if you go to tapebrothers.com don't get marking vinyl tape, get exterior vinyl tape. It has the, some advantages of packing tape and some of duct tape. It does elongate somewhat. As you can see, it will conform to irregularities. It's twice as thick as packing tape at four mil. It does not incorporate any cotton uh, fibers. It's extremely bright and brilliant and it makes a great finish to a pre-covered uh, packing tape surface. So it's a good accent for that makes decent hinges for control surfaces. This again is about $3.50 a roll for 10 yards. Not quite as economical, but great for finishes. Here's an example of the vinyl exterior tape applied over pre-covered foam board. Uh, this is my servo with a gift card applied over it. It's incredibly smooth and shiny and glossy. A slight color difference, of course, but it contours amazingly well to that edge and keeps that edge. Here's my 2.4 gigahertz video transmitter and I've applied vinyl tape over that and it's just as smooth as can be. These are holographic metallic 
tapes, another specialty from tapebrothers.com. These are 10 yard rolls and they average about 10 to $15 a roll. So a bit more expensive, but you're gonna see they're really quite cool. This one is a, a um, confetti prismatic, which is good for say windows and cockpits where you wish to have kind of a cool glassy like effect. And this is brushed chrome and it really looks just like metal. However, it's, it's quite flexible. Um, it's not contour matching. Uh, it's closer to packing tape in its consistency, but somewhat thicker. This stuff comes in a variety of different designs and also different widths too. The two inch wide is again about 10 or $15 a roll for 10 yards and the one inch wide is somewhat less expensive than that. Two sided scotch tape is pretty ubiquitous. You can get this just about any store. Uh, there are many different brands of it. I happen to like the scotch. It appears to have a little bit better adhesive and the thicker film to it. And it has fairly narrow uses in uh, construction of RC airplanes. One is to apply certain um, parts together that don't require a lot of strength and that you may wish to place just temporarily. For example, your wing to your fuselage to determine the center of gravity, for example. And the other use for this that I like to use is for the uh, wrapping technique for leading edges along a vertical or horizontal stabilizers where the foam is removed from this strip of uh, pre-covered foam board at the leading edge, the width of a piece of the two-sided uh, scotch tape and the tape itself is applied inside this flap of paper and it's simply wrapped over and adhered down. This is polypropylene label covering tape from tapebrothers.com. It is uh, 3.1 mils thick and it bears a very strong resemblance to clear packing tape with a few key differences. One is it's, as it's polypropylene it actually does have some elongation before it breaks as you can see. And it also will conform somewhat, so you can see that you can you can actually bend it around corners and slight abnormalities and contours on an airplane to cover certain irregularities. It's nowhere near as much as the vinyl, but it's a lot more than pa packing tape. So if you wish to have a clear covering but have just a slight amount of contour covering ability, this polypropylene label covering tape from TapeBrothers.com may fit the bill. Masking tape is good for a very narrow set of uses for uh, foamy construction. The adhesive is removable and that's its advantage so it's good for areas where you need to remove the tape such as closing hatches, masking off areas, temporary taping, stuff like that. It does come in a lot of other colors as well including fluorescence which can be good for embellishing your plane um, although it's removable. This is just ordinary painters blue tape. Masking tape is available just about any store of any size and is very inexpensive depending on the brand and the colors that you get. And then finally, there's the familiar vinyl electrical tape. Uh, this has a few uses. The adhesive is very poor and it's very gummy, and it doesn't appear to be anything like permanent on most airplane applications. I like to use electrical tape for temporary applications such as closing hatches, and it does come in a variety of nice colors. It's good to throw in your field bag for quick fixes. It's, of course, good for electrical parts, um, as not to forget that. And so it is a must to have, but it's not a very versatile airframe tape. It comes in different widths, as you can see, different color, colors. This stuff is incredibly cheap, comes in a lot of colors. I got these from Harbor Freight and this from Home Depot, and these were under $4 uh, each for these bundles. And then, of course, the black stuff is available for under a dollar a roll. You just got to have some.